Welcome to Mass with Marka. Today I'm gonna solve a really nice Mass Olympiad question from Canadian Mass Olympiad. So let's talk about this. If we have x squared plus x squared divided by x plus one squared will be equal to three, let's talk about to finding x in this equation. So for the first step, um, if we look at this equation, I mean the first polynomial was equal x squared plus on the top it's better for you to add plus and minus one so plus and minus one squared divided by x plus one squared will be equal three nothing will happen why because one minus one will be equal zero so that's right and so, uh, of course, you know that you can write it now as x squared plus x plus 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1 squared will be equal 3. So, we have x squared plus x plus, uh, let me write it for you, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 and minus 1 divided by x plus 1 so you can write it 1 minus 1 on the denominator x plus 1 squared that will be equal 3 right so if you look at this equation um, you can write it as uh, let me write it for you for example you have a minus b squared of course you know that you can write a squared plus b squared let me write positive and negative b squared will be equal positive and negative 2 times a times b so in this case you can write it as the first one was x squared plus 1 because 1 squared will be equal 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 squared minus 2 divided by x plus 1 will be equal 3 and that's it so for continue what can you do look at this one and this one i don't want to work with them because they're so good to use um square root of something so i can write them x square plus 1 divided by x plus 1 squared plus 1 minus 2 divided by x plus 1 will be equal 3. Uh, if you use the same denominator times x plus 1, 1 times x plus 1, so will be equal x plus 1. And then we have x squared plus 1 divided by x plus 1 squared plus x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Am I right? Yes, that's it. So uh, that will be equal 3. And now, if you look at this, it's better for us to make a square root of something on the left side and on the right side so what can we do we can add plus one on the left side we can write x squared plus one divided by x plus one squared plus let me write it for you here x minus one divided by x plus one plus one if you use the same denominator on the top you will have 2x divided by x plus 1 so easy to use and I don't want to write that, uh, that again for you so you can write 2x divided by x plus 1 on the right side you can write 4 so if you look at on the left side what can you see you can see square root of something why because if you like to write x plus 1 over x plus 1 square, that's good. Why? Because you have x square here, 1 divided by x plus 1 square, 
here plus 2 times x times this one 2 times x over x plus 1 so that's it that will be equal 4 and you know that x plus 1 over x plus 1 will be equal positive and negative 2 so it means we have two situations for finding our answer let me write them for you the first one I want to talk about the first one x plus 1 over x plus 1 will be equal 2 okay so if you look at this equation we can multiply this equation by x plus 1 so multiply this by x plus 1 so we can write x times x plus 1 plus 1 on the right side 2 times x plus 1 yes that's right so um we can write x squared plus x plus 1 minus 2x minus 2 will be equal 0 so that x squared minus x minus 1 will be equal 0 here we have a quadratic equation in one of my videos I prove that the quadratic equation x for example if, if you have ax, ax squared plus bx plus c will be equal 0 then x will be equal minus b positive and negative square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a in one of my videos I prove it and I put the link of that video in the description if you don't know how to prove it you can check that video so um, x in this case will be equal 1 positive and negative square root of 1 minus 4 times minus 1 times 1 and I don't want to write that over 2 so the one answer for x will be equal 1 positive and negative square root of 5 over 2 and here we have two answers for this but don't forget to check the second one i mean the negative 2 here so let's check the negative 2 we had x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 was equal to negative 2 again we multiply this equation by x plus 1 so on the left side you can write x squared plus x um, plus 1 on the right side you can write 2x plus 2 so here we want to make a quadratic equation so we have x squared minus x minus 1 equal zero am i right uh if you check the equation i think we made a mistake let me check that again for you oh yes yeah, sorry that was minus 2x and here negative 2 so here we have um, x squared plus 3x plus 3 yes plus 3 yes that's right so that was equal 3 was equal 0 so again we find x in this equation like the way that we used in the first one so x will be equal negative 3 positive and negative square root of 9 minus um, 4 times 1 uh, times 3 divided by 2 so here we go uh, 4 times 3 12 and 9 minus 12 square root of negative 3 
So, minus 3, positive and negative, i times square root of 3, divided by 2. Yes? So, it means, this is the, let me kill in this point. It doesn't kill. Yes, that's right. So, and it is the third one and the fourth one um, solution for our equation. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like the video. And thanks for watching.